Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking Road to the Finals, Upgrades, and Champions League football today because it's a big time Tuesday and your boy got a sale because I have some coins. It's a great day. Champions League today and tomorrow, I want to talk about Road to the Finals because that is like the only interesting thing that is going on inside of FIFA right now. There's literally no content yesterday on Monday. Nothing. We had a no content day. First one in a long time. If you actually go back, I'm not sure how many days it's been since we had no content, but this is how it used to be in FIFA, man. This is how it used to be, but we're so used to having content every single day that it's now weird when we don't. We did not have content yesterday. So, uh, the market didn't even move that much, man. A lot of people just went and actually some of these road to the finals have gone up even further into the games coming. And I want to talk about what you should be doing with these road to the final cards. If you've already bought them, if you want to try to trade with them live during the games, because all of the hype and everything related to RTTFs boils down to today. And I think I sold my Jamie Vardy at 547 that I bought at 500k. That's a W. I still have my hazard right there. You can see I bought this at 720,000 coins. And I think hazard right now is um, hazard right now is 755. So I'm kind of holding that because I think Madrid are going to do pretty well on Wednesday. But let's talk about road to the finals and today and what you should be doing with these cards. First off, let's take a look at the two teams because these cards are inflated a lot. They have gone up a lot in the past couple of days from the panic selling that we saw on the weekend. These guys weren't as affected. They're very rare for number one. And number two, people know that their games are this week. So a lot of people have been investing in them for the upgrade. And this is again, we're going to talk a lot today about selling in the hype. I think a lot of these guys, you're going to want to sell in the hype. That's the safest way to go because a lot of these guys, if not all of them, are going to be dropping later this week, after this weekend, and into the new year, team of the year, time frame, 2021, because we don't have Champions games after today and tomorrow. We don't have Champions League games until February. Long wait ahead for these cards. And we see it happen every year. They drop off when the competition is kind of at its lowest point. Then they rise back up after team of the year when February is not too far away. So Davies, 627,000 coins. We're going to look at this website today. This is the Champions League UEFA.com. We're going to look at some of the permutations, which basically means who needs what to get into the next rounds to the knockout rounds of the group or to the knockout stage of Champions League. So we're going to look at some of those today, some of the games that everybody's going to be watching on Tuesday and Wednesday and some of the markets you might market movements you might see because of that. Now, of course, this Davies card has just been on a slow and nice rise since he came uh, out of PAX. 600,027 coins at the moment. This is basically the highest this card has ever been. Yes, he does look cracked. Yes, with a plus two upgrade that will be coming this Friday. Yes, I do think they are going to upgrade Road to the Finals this Friday if they do it like they have been in years past. But I still think that's way, way too expensive for right now in this game. Teo Hernandez, Team of the Group Stage card, has very similar and honestly, I would say better stats than Alfonso Davies. Doesn't have the hype per se. This is not a live item. But this is 247,000 coins for a 96-paced French left back who has just as good of links, I would argue, as Alfonso Davies. Of course, he's got the Bayern links, but still, uh, I think this card is very overpriced, especially because it's a live item. He's hyped. People know that Bayern are probably going to go pretty far. Uh, but I think you want to sell this kind of card in the hype and sell a lot of these cards into the hype. Now, again, let's take a look at which teams are already in because the teams that are already in, right? These guys right here, Bayern, Manchester City, Porto, Liverpool, Chelsea, Sevilla, Dortmund, Barcelona, and Juventus. These guys are confirmed to be going on to the knockout rounds. For those items that have road to the finals, right? Griezmann, 600,000 coins. He is close to his highest mark ever. Salah, 1.52. Uh, all of these teams that are already guaranteed to be moving on, right? Jesus, 800K for this card, I think is pretty high. Akanji at 237. There's a lot of center backs from the, the uh, Bundesliga this year. And this one doesn't get the best links out of all of them. He doesn't get the best links. Um, I would be watching the cards that are in already, right? We talked about Jesus from City, uh, Salah from Liverpool, Akanji, you know, um, do we have a Juventus? Who is our, we don't, do we have a Juventus, uh, road to the final card or am I booming? We don't have a UA road to the final. I don't think we have Chelsea either. That's right. Unless there was an SBC, which I'm forgetting which SBCs 
were out for whichever cards that were ruled to the finals, uh, except for Atletico and um, Hector Herrera. But anyways, I would sell these guys into the hype, right? Jesus, those guys we just mentioned, sell them into the hype, honestly, either right after the game or before the game, because these cards, the only hype that they have riding on them is the actual upgrade. And do you think that Jesus getting a plus one from an 85 to an 86 is really going to go up to like 950 or to a million coins, a big jump in price after he gets a plus one upgrade when the market has dropped off so much. This card right now costs the exact same price as the best player in the game, and that is Neymar. Neymar is 800,000 coins. Gabriel Jesus is, always, is also 800,000 coins. Sell the card. Even if you're on Xbox, everything, man. These cards are inflated. They are high. Sell before. Take your cash because a lot of these cards are only going to go lower, right? Now, we talked about those teams. Let's talk about the teams that are still possibly on the fence, right? Mochen Gladbach, Shakhtar, Real Madrid, Inter, Group B and Group H are going to be big ones to watch. Ajax with Promes, Atalanta, um, even Atletico Salzburg and Lazio Brugge. But these three teams... And these four teams right here is where I, it's really going to get interesting today because this is why I bought the Hazard, right? This is why I bought Hazard because I think Real Madrid are going to come out swinging. Now, of course, I am an, a you know very casual football fan, but Madrid, you know, they're playing against. Um, let me find it really quick. Uh, they're playing against Mochen Gladbach. Now, Mochen Gladbach's been playing pretty well. They've been, uh, obviously, have a lot of points in the group. All the teams that are in Group B, I believe, are tied on nine points. And it's only coming down to the differences between the head-to-head um, -head and goal difference. Real Madrid will go through if they win, right? That's what they need to do. They're focused on winning. Uh, or if they draw and Shakhtar lose to Inter, then they also go through. But they're focused on winning, right? So that's why I have this Hazard. Because if Real Madrid score first, this Hazard is going to fly up. It's going to go over 800,000 coins where he was before. He's going to shoot up in price. And then he's going to drop back down after the selling and stuff. And then after, of course, the upgrades come, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video too. But what I would say is if you want to be risky with it today, just know that if you buy a Hazard, and if Hazard, let's say Real Madrid go up a goal, but then um, Mocha Gladbach, they come back and uh, they score two and they win. So you have Zakaria who would be dropping after that first Real Madrid goal would be scored, right? Zakaria is like 230K right now, 224. This card would drop if Real Madrid scored in the game. But if they equalize or start coming back, uh, this card's going to start rising and Hazard's going to drop because it's all about who is going to get the upgrade because the upgrades are coming this Friday for whoever gets first or second in the, the group moving on to the knockout round. If the team that gets third, whatever team gets third, there will not be an upgrade coming for them going down to Europa League. They're not going to get upgraded even to a Europa League card if they do it the same way they did last year until February when they you know play their first game in the round of 16 and possibly get upgraded so that's kind of the risk reward play with cards like this today if Zakaria and Mochen Gladbach score first against Real Madrid this card's probably going to go up 20 30,000 coins if not more actually it could go up even more than that because this guy with a plus one would look pretty cracked as well he's already a really good card but still I feel like this guy he had the early game hype with his CDM card for his, his gold card that was in a lot of starter teams. I don't feel like he's that usable or that used as much anymore. Um, so I would honestly altogether probably sell this guy in the hype because if you bought this Zakaria, you probably got him in like the 210 range. You're making 10K a card. If he hits 235 or 240 pregame uh, tomorrow, then you're chilling, right? Take the coins there with that one. But that's kind of how the... the that's kind of how it works during the game, right? Whoever scores, their card's going to go up. Whoever is losing, their cards are going to go down. Now, that could flip-flop, and there's a lot of risk-reward potential with that kind of play. But also, after the game, the losing team's cards are going to drop. They're going to fall. They're going to crash because they're still live items, yes, if they're getting to third place. Again, like Mochen and Gladbach, if Real Madrid beat them and... Um, uh, Shakhtar, I think, I don't know what Shakhtar had to do for Mochen Gladbach to get in. Uh, well, Shakhtar has to draw, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure on second place for that group. I'm just kind of using this as an example for the win-lose situation. This card would still drop off, right? Or maybe if we use the other example as in like Leipzig versus Manchester United, right? Leipzig will go through if they beat United. 
um, or if they or if Leipzig draw and Paris lose, which I don't think PSG is going to lose because PSG has to play to win. They have to avoid defeat against Istanbul. So uh, your guy like Klosterman, this guy is actually up a lot right now. Klosterman is 300 and 70,000 coins to right now. He was 330K, 340 yesterday. He's up 35 to 40,000 coins already. This card is in the hype before the games today. Now, of course, they're playing uh, Manchester United. I think they might be favorites as well if I looked at the, the odds and the lines correctly. Um, but again, it all comes down to what happens during the game. So that's why I, my initial advice is to sell on the hype because you just want to take your safe coins if you're already making coins. Um, and especially before the upgrades come, because once the upgrades come, all of these cards drop. If we take a look at last year's team, which is going to take me just a second to pull up. Um, if we take a look at last year's squad of the road to the final players, I believe this is fa a factual statement that every single card last year dropped off after the knockout rounds were over. After the knockout rounds were over, yeah, let's take a look at Hyunmin Sun, right? This is Hyunmin Sun's 89 rated live item last year. We'll zoom in just for viewing purposes. He went from 2.06 million, right, right in the time that we are now, right? This is literally Tuesday, the game that they probably played last year. Tuesday, December 10th is when they most likely played. And what happened, right? They won, of course, they cemented their spot. They, I don't even know where Spurs were in the group, to be honest, um, last year, if I'm being completely honest, I kind of forget. But you just see this drop off, right? Heading into those next couple weeks towards team of the year and stuff bottoms out during that team of the year time frame. And then, of course, stuff kind of comes back as the games begin back up in February, right? Let's take a look at another card, maybe on more of a, you know, cheaper budget, right? Let's look at Dortmund and Sancho. Dortmund and Sancho, look at this man. First week of December, he comes back up, climbs back up to 229,000 coins, and then bang, drops off the next week to 160. So maybe you don't want to sell today on Tuesday. Maybe you want to try to ride it out and see if there's more upgrade or more, you know, potential uh, for, you know, like this Klosterman card. Let's say Leipzig beat Man U and you're, and this guy is getting a lot of hype. He's going to, he might have some crazy, insane looking stats. You might wait until uh, this guy gets the upgrade on Friday or close up to that time because he might actually not drop. He might actually keep going up if they do win. Some cards, it's going to be tough to know which ones, but some cards might be a little bit undervalued still because of their upgrade and the upgrade potential and how much that card could be valued at after it gets upgraded, right? So that's kind of the thought process. If you want to hold on, a little, be a little bit more um, risky, even with the upgrade coming, but the upgrades should be coming Thursday night into Friday, because what EA does is they wait for all the games to be played. Champions League, Europa League, all of the games, they wait for them to be played. And that's where they do the upgrade. After all that's been played, they can do a one-time sweep through and do an upgrade, right? Aubameyang, 970. Arsenal's already through. He's going to go to an 89. This guy's probably going to drop 100K because people are going to sell this card. And again, just to my point that I said earlier, I feel like these cards have even more of a reason to drop right now because they're rare, right? They're invested in. A lot of people are holding these cards because they think the price is going to go up when the upgrades come. Another reason to sell early, by the way. But again, this market has been sold off so much in the past two days. Neymar going from 970 to 800 and Bate going from 13 to 116. Even these team of the group stage cards continue to drop because everybody in this game is is not buying these players. They're not buying their teams. Some stuff did rebound a little bit today. Pogba's getting invested in for out of packs team of the week investing. Joel Gomez is up a bit. People buying some meta golds. Um, but the rest of the market is really, really low. And uh, let's talk about this Promes for a second, man. 310,000 coins. This guy is up a hundred k from where he was last week now a lot of this initial price boom right basically this amount right here from 200k to 250 is all because of the air divisie objectives that came out people are linking this card to gravenbach to the right wing i forget the the guy's name to dumfries dumfries is extinct on the market right now uh because of the links to the new um air divisie um milestone players that are in the game people are doing that objective because those cards look sick um, Ajax, man, I don't know what's going to happen with Ajax, dude, because it's such, such a close one. If we take a look at this, uh, Atalanta will go through if they avoid defeat. So Atalanta has to avoid defeat. And if Ajax want to go through, they have to win. It's win and in for Ajax and same thing for Atalanta, man. So this, this is like one of the biggest matches people are watching this week. 
Again, I, I don't know who's going to win. A lot of people seem to think that um, Ajax are going to win because of the way this card has risen up. If this card does not win, if Ajax do not win, this guy's going to be like uh, under 200k again. Maybe not quite that low because now he has the links to the new uh, foundation players. But this will even be a card to watch because of those new links and because of people using those players. Um, he might rebound a slight bit after a lot of panic selling. Um, and again, these cards are very rare. They're very good to trade with. So we're going to be taking a look at these cards even after the games are played and after the upgrades happen because these are very rare items. They're going to fluctuate a lot and some of them are pretty desirable. People like to use them in their teams. Uh, so we'll take a watch at those. But of course, if a team does get third place and they go down to your Robo League, no upgrade is happening on Friday. And yeah, I feel like I just talked a lot right there about these Road to the Final cards, but I want to try to make it clear because a lot of them are going to be at their highest in the mass sphere of things over the next month, today or tomorrow or Thursday into Friday. That's like This is like the last chance if you want to dish them out, take the coins before a lot of them are probably going to drop lower. That's what I would do. Now, really quick, at the very end of this video, I want to say one last thing. This today is one thing that we saw on Twitter. Footwatch tweeted this out earlier today. And this, I'm not going to make a separate video on this. I'm not going to rant about it. But I think this is wild. This is incredible. So Footwatch found some code tonight that was pop-up error. GOIP blacklist. FIFA Ultimate Team is currently not accessible due to a demand from the authorities of your region. Now, I think from what I've heard that this is possibly going towards the Netherlands and Belgium with the issues and the lawsuits and the just kind of the way that the government in those countries is viewing EA and the gambling aspect of the game. Of course, there's been no FIFA points in Belgium, I think for like a year in FIFA now. I don't know about uh, the Netherlands. I'm not sure about FIFA points there. Um, but to me, what this means is EA, if your country blocks FIFA or says, hey, we want you to not have our game playable in our country because of things that go on inside your game, aka gambling, you know, the pack odds, like all the stuff that is, you know, the gambling aspect, which is a lot of the, the, the laws that the countries are making are going against the gambling aspect of FIFA Ultimate Team with the packs and the, the Kinder Egg, all that stuff that was in last year. That's where this is coming from, I think. But basically what this is, is a pop-up error. This is what EA added. GOIP, blacklist, which makes, makes me think that, let's say your country blocks FIFA or your country's government says you can't play FIFA or we want FIFA to be turned off because of the stuff that's inside it. This message is what EA is making. They added a message into the code that would come up and say this message right here. Uh, like a pop-up inside of the game um, because that FIFA is basically banned in your country. And I think that it's crazy that we have gotten to this point where a football simulation game is going to be banned in a country because of loot boxes, because of gambling, and because of what those countries think this game is promoting to underaged and to, I mean, without the proper safety, without the proper, I don't know what it exactly is. I haven't delved into all the research about it, but... I just think that's crazy, all right? All That's all I wanted to say about it. I think it's crazy. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that nothing ever has to happen with that. I hope something changes or whatever. Um, but I just thought that was pretty wild um, to see that being tweeted out today. And just the fact that that has to be something that is possible in a game, a video game, a football simulation. So it sucks, but it is what it is. If you're in one of those countries, I feel for you. If that happens to be, if you're not able to play FIFA, Ultimate Team, because of your country, um, I don't think you can blame your country. I think you have to blame the game itself because it's not your country that is, has the problem. It is the game that is the core problem. And we kind of knew that, but that's the issue at hand. So not to end the video on a sour note, because today's probably going to be a really awesome day of football with champions league. A lot of crazy market movements are going to go on. So one last mention as well. These team of group stage items that are right here, they're not live, okay? Don't be buying these today. You might see them fluctuate though. You might see them fluctuate because people think that these are live. Please do not buy team of group stage cards today. They're not live items. If you want to be risky, you might see them move because people will think that they are live. So another long video, boys. I apologize. I get rambling. I'm trying to make them a little bit shorter, you know, as you guys request. But I felt like there's a lot to talk about today, and I wanted to really clearly get my point across about Road to the Finals. So if you enjoyed this one, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.